A few years ago, a trend started in which vloggers and auditors film on the premises of hotels that are believed to be accommodating immigrants. As with COVID-19, auditors get a free pass from me for this activity. I will not be criticising them for this because for the government to allow thousands of illegal immigrants into the country, then accommodate them in hotels, is just not right. In many cases, the auditors are committing trespass or even aggravated trespass and perhaps other minor offences and civil wrongs. But I think these actions are morally defensible and may also be legally justifiable as citizen journalism, which is protected as free expression under Article 10 of the Schedule to the Human Rights Act. Although Article 10 rights are explicitly subject to law and trespass is unlawful and aggravated trespass is contrary to the criminal law, and undertaking journalism does not give you a magic exemption from the law, nevertheless the police, the Crown Prosecution Service and both the civil and criminal courts must not act in a way that is contrary to Article 10, and in my opinion it is a defence to argue that there is a public interest in the auditor being on the land for the purpose of free expression pursuant to Article 10, and unlike most of what these auditors do, this is journalistic activity, more so than what much of the mainstream media get up to, I might add. I think accommodating illegal immigrants in hotels is outrageous and a betrayal of the by the government of the people of this country, and I can't criticise vloggers and auditors who cover this in a direct manner by filming the hotels. The reality is that successive governments over many decades have betrayed the British people. Oh,